Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Aeronauts. And we start off with a question from Twitch chat. In history, what would you say is a ship that would have been good but came too late and instead was made useless? The Alaskas, I think, are a classic example of those. Vanguard is another one. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I'm just going to also resolve this. Um, I know I didn't sink it, but pff, screw it. Were these the... No, they're, they're old ones. God damn it. I'm going to have to fight this one. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. So I wouldn't count Yamato. Uh, because she was ready in time to fight the enemies she was designed to fight. Um, it's just that she never got a chance to. And she had been eclipsed by aircraft carriers. Um, you know, and that they didn't, that the Japanese didn't use their battleships correctly, um, <laughs> arguably, um, is, is not the fault of the ships themselves. But they, they were around. There were things for them that they could have fought. But uh, they never really got the chance. Yes, the Lord Nelsons. There you go. They're, they're a good example. Um, which were being built by the Royal Navy. Pre, they were pre-Dreadnoughts. And then, of course, Dreadnought came along. <laughs> it was like, oh. I'm pretty sure it was the Lord Nelsons. There, there, there was a class of yeah pre-Dreadnought that... Um, yeah, but but yeah, all pre dreadnoughts under construction when uh, dreadnought launch were pretty much rendered completely useless. Hey, ammo debt, a little bit different from uh, the regular flash fire that these things get. But yes, they're not. These German light cruisers are not not. Not good enough. Even our slightly older like hell, the destroyers can absolutely wreck them. <laughs> no, well, I guess, but like they were pretty much useless for their intended job. Goodbye. Bum 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 ba dum bum. Yes, yes, we're definitely keeping the old ships around as long as possible. For sure. We've still got 14 ships. It's just, it's just, when the enemies like this, they kind of noodle and nerdle around. Well, we could start building, keep increasing the shipyard size. There's no point, but sure, 69,000 tons. <laughs> Planning for the future. Uh, yeah. I was surprised to come across ships there. Right, where are the new light cruisers based? Marseille Le Havre, Marseille Le Havre, Nice Toulon, Le Havre, Brest, Le Havre, Marseille. Okay, so they are spread around. That's good. Right, take the light cruisers from there. Send them over to the North Sea Fleet. Aha! 
the uh, well, they built a battleship as well. Well, they did have a load of ship uh, ships under construction, I suppose. But um, it'd be nice to see the new yes, the shallots. The shallots are ready. Fantastic. Q only. <laughs> no. You're getting Q turrets and wing turrets in this series. Should uh, count yourselves lucky. Right. <laughs> Here we are. This is the brand new Scout Cruiser. In action, finally. There's six 7-inch guns. Hopefully, they prove... Ugh. What have you done with my fleet? Right, do you know what? Blob. It's green. Save. Start. Make speed 16. Honestly. Should eventually sort them out. Sort themselves out, I think. <laughs> I I do like these. They do look nice. It's a shame this isn't a super firing turret. Um. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with them. Except when you do that. <laughs> yeah, I think the AI has almost had long enough to get the ships in a formation. Look at that. <laughs> right. Heavy cruiser spotted. Ow. Rude. Oh, hello. Sneaky. T-Dub, a hundred bits. Thank you very much. dead, whatever it was. <laughs> I was going to say, is it a light cruiser? Oh, it's firing torpedoes. How novel. You're firing torpedoes as well, you shit. Died just two seconds too late. Oh, that's a lot of torpedoes, actually. Ow. Oh, shit. That ain't good. <laughs> God damn it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was a mistake. Ugh. It's unlucky to get a flash fire from a top like that. She would have survived otherwise. <laughs> we need a Colossae 3. Oh, it's maybe an unlucky... Ever since the um, I did the time skip, it's a bit of an unlucky... Unlucky ship name. <laughs> Condorce Torres. Oh. It's just an unforced error. It's because I'm like, oh, it's the Germans, meh. Um, I'll just shoot them shoot them up. And they'll all explode. And then I forget. Oh, hang on. They've actually maybe refitted the ships. And they have. They're, those are new. The, the, they weren't able to do those torpedo strikes before. They must have upgraded their torpedoes. And that is effing annoying mm, 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 mm. third time's the charm <laughs> how many I can get through yeah <laughs> see I haven't lost that many battleships I've lost uh, so we lost Gascon 
the original condensate, the what was it? The not the triumph. Um, oh, why can't I remember the name of it? Anyway, there, there, there was another one. Uh, which we lost. We just won the uh, turret farm types. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, torpedo is actually kind of on time. It's going too fast. No, lovely. Lovely hit. Look at that. Ow. Tourville, thank you. Thank you, yeah. And then we've lost Condor State twice. <laughs> now. She's just bloody typical. Oh yeah, I forgot these things have bow launchers. Pain. Let's see if I can get a torpedo shot. With the cos Cosmo, Cosmo, I know. Well, the the Condorcet in the 1890 cam start was amazing, and then yeah, just decided to have a brain fart, and I did exactly the same thing here. Um, Condorcet doing absolutely fine, and then yeah, just being stupid with it. me out full. However, I am not perfect. Oh, poop. <laughs> right, let's try with the uh, sushi. Hey, rocket buddy. No, ah, okay, it's sunk anyway. No, I'm really annoyed about that. that. That is so stupid of me. Look at that. They get eight, even though I won, <laughs> they get 8,000 victory points. Fuck. It's because uh, I've, I've had that before as well, where t torpedoes will blow up my battleships. Um, like She had torpedo protection, and she would have lived if, that, if not for that. It's just, ugh, so annoying. They do have a battleship kicking around somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, here it is. Kill. Three months till we get the oscillates. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's say three. I don't have a, a new hull, unfortunately. I could. I mean, I could rebuild the Condorcet. I still have the plan, <laughs> plan for it. Not the. I still have the plan for the original one, hilariously. But yeah, we have the, the duh. So we could rebuild her. I don't know what chat feels about that. Um, it's not like we did a refit or anything. Uh, so we could we could build a replacement. We, we have we have, we have the plans. Still. Uh, 
Come on, surrender. New one when I get a new hull. Yeah, that's my thinking too. <laughs> Friendship called Berlin. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Come on, Germany, just surrender, you shits. They're building so many ships as well. Um. I think they moved their battleship over there. Move. Champa. And Terrible over there. See if we can get them to engage. There we go. No, fight to the end, damn it. Hanover. A, oh, a Rhineland. These are the these are the ones that are even worse. I thought they were older. I I seem to remember that these were the ones that are absolutely shockingly awful. Like they have a better gun layout, but they they were just made of paper. Uh, yes, yes, they were refitted. Uh, they got the Mark III guns, uh, upgraded armor, um, new engines that got turbines in them now. I didn't do anything radical. I mean, it was radical by historical standards, but not radical by what you can do in the game. There we go. Do, 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 do. Target lock bug. Stop it. Yeah. He's used to the Rhineland class. See, it will not last as long as the other, what was it, Grosser Kerfus. Probably going to switch up to the little destroyer now. Oh, no, it's a light cruiser. Never mind. Oh, nice. Yeah, these things. 78% armor quality. The hell. They're, sl they're not exactly fast, either. <laughs> welcome back. Well, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. A bit different from what I was doing earlier today. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do stream on Twitch. And it's not just at Ultimate Admiral, I do other things too. Uh, today was Farming Simulator. Yeah, just 
taking them apart. And in return, they're really not doing very much. Guns, yeah. I think they are gone. Is their flooding going up? It's impressive. Oh, their floatability, I mean. <laughs> there we go. Good. Good riddance. <laughs> Too soon, man. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. The Conosays are good. They do well. And then I think, oh yes, it's a Condorcet. They're amazing. And then I make a mistake and then they get sunk. Yes, this is... The, all of this has happened before and all of this will happen again. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to fight single light cruisers. Come on, Germany. A torpedo flying across. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. If you could manage that, um, hysteric fish, I'll be very, very happy. So yeah, here's one of our old. Yeah, these are the older ships that I left to do, uh, and these are refitted. So you can see they can go 23 knots, um, but otherwise they are very much as they were. I think the one that got the biggest refit was the. Ocean, because I... No, no, it wasn't Ocean. It's the one that's not here. There's another one that had... It was this style, but with only two of the little stations, and I replaced the guns on the lower level with six-inch guns. That was the biggest refit I did. Right. No, apparently they did a head. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, France in this timeline anyway, pretty pretty uh, terrifying in naval terms. I dread to think how much we have sent to the bottom. No idea how uh, the French are doing on land, of course. But you're absolutely right. Like France um a military superpower for a long, long time. Okay, I can't be bothered. If you're not even going to bother coming to fight me, just go away. God damn it, that means the fleet moves. Oh, and they're going in for repairs as well. Just just send a couple of ships. It's not like we need a lot. Here we go. And the British can uh, pull their finger out and get get something done. Uh, Jean Bar's repairing for a month. Oh he hello. The Austerlitz is finished. She's in Marseille. Let's send her round to the little sea. That might put the wind up them a little bit. And I'm going to send a couple of the <laughs> Shalot class with her as an escort. 
Bum bum. Hey, Delta Bravo. Doo -doo. War continues. Oh, they've built another battleship. This is a Grosser Kerr first class. Okay. Not sure I can take it out with a couple of onions uh, and some shallot. <laughs> shallot. Sound like I'm making soup. Um, don't know where the hell they uh, pulled that out from. We can try, though. Right, switch torps off. Do not scout. It's the last thing I want you to do. Hmm. Do 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 do. Yeah, as soon as we get a new hull, I will uh, I will build something. Wish it was easier to run polls on Twitter, but I need a mod to do that for me. I say Twitter, I meant Twitch. <laughs> it's easy to run them on Twitter. Battleship against the cruiser squadron. Not going to be easy. We do have torps. Hopefully, I, I, I need to get some form of damage onto her. Either engine or rudder or something like that. Oh, the scout cruisers are amazing. Yeah, battleship flavored soup, indeed. Shooting up the Molcom. You are target locking. Cease your annoyance. Is there a chance to be? Uh, no, rubbish at the moment. Might just be angle. She, what about when she's broadside on? Nah, still terrible. You just have to burn her down. Wow, she might surrender. Look at the crew losses. Already at twenty two per cent. Twenty five per cent. Gonna detach two cruisers. We're gonna go go for a torpedo run. <laughs> they do get obsoleted quickly, but they are in a very, very important little stopgap because they, uh, the you know, until you get the modern light cruisers, they are <laughs> pretty much your only good cruiser hull. And yes. Battle cruisers are just flat out better, but meh. They uh, they do fill a niche. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> the courgettes. Actually, does have an engine damaged. Right, torpedo away. I think. Yes. Oh no, don't go that way. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be going into the path of your own sister ship's torpedo. Well, when she gets close enough to fire the damn thing. 
Oh, a nice hit. Very nice hit. And torpedo? Fire? No? Yes? You're getting too close. Off. It's going to have to come around. Try again. But I think Oldenburg is going to surrender. Forty percent crew loss. Can't survive much longer. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, so battle cruisers uh, in, the, in the game go through a kind of heyday. So when you first get them, they make uh, all heavy and light cruisers pretty much obsolete, apart from the scout cruisers. Um, but uh, battleships catch, catch up to them eventually. So. And then they're, they're not as useful anymore. It depends how you build them, of course. Because <laughs> uh, if you build them with, you know, no protection whatsoever, then yeah, you're going to find that they're completely useless. And... Is that a dud? I think it was a dud. Yeah, it exploded just short. God damn it. Come on, 43% crew loss. percent yeah that th that was uh yeah um when you first get them though in this game they will outrun any cruiser handily and outshoot them um and you can protect them as much as you like um so they don't have to be unprotected at all um it's just that what you will later on get battleships that are capable of going just as fast and are just flat out better. Yes, they surrendered. Good. We shall tow it back. <laughs> Yoink. Lose a couple of transports. A convoy? Oh, uh, unfortunately it's from the older light cruisers, but still. A good chance to take out yet another light cruiser. if I can find the damn things. Where are you? There we go. That's the light cruiser. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
range is deceptive. Yeah, I knew it. It's laying eggs. Yeah, shit. Oh! <laughs> Do we have a... <laughs> Torp anti torpedo field or something. I'll oh, just sink the light cruiser. I'm never going to find the transports. Shoot. Thank you. Hacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they don't have any torpedoes anymore. And they surrendered. Good. That was very close. That, that, that was... That was extremely close. <laughs> Come on. Right. Let's have another look. And somehow their economy is growing, but uh, that seems implausible. Um, it has been reduced, though. France, not quite the largest economy in the world. The Austro-Hungarians have, have overtaken us. Well, uh, they were always ahead of us, but they've um, they've been at peace been at peace for a while. Um, you like the looking text on the way? Advanced twin turrets, cool. Shells, no, it's just a passive buff. All right. Uh, why? Yes, thank you. Oh, the Ustalitz! Oh, hello. Get to see her in action, do we? Very nice. Uh, we have a question. Uh, if, uh, easiest to convert to a, to a carrier? Probably be a battle cruiser. Yes, there is a Bismarck. Try not to get a torpedo. I will try... She is a little bit better at dealing with that sort of eventuality, the Ustalitz, because she carries a much heavier secondary armament than the Condor Sea. Uh, and she does have two light cruisers. Supposedly, uh, acting as a screen for her. Right, where is the enemy? Over there. Alright, let's head in this sort of direction. But it's nice to see her at sea, finally. Good looking ship, if I say so myself. I've never actually played World of Warships, funnily enough. Uh, yes, uh, it, it was named by chat. Whoa! Um, and yes, it is deliberately designed to annoy the... Uh, well, actually, it's designed to annoy the Austrians, mostly, but...
See if we can hit that little shit. Come out of nowhere. An irritating little strategy the Germans have come up with. is fired. Yeah. I'm not sure when they got this design. They're only Mark 1 Torps. Yeah, 18 inch. I think I think the Condorcet like, did get unlucky. I mean, I was stupid with her. I'm not downplaying it, but um yeah irritating oh Oslitz is gonna go all the way back to the med oh, I should have moved her to um to Lahar first never mind be able to deal with the light cruiser easily enough. The Bismarck, no less. Gone. Good. that one little destroyer floating about. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. <laughs> but uh, it's not um, it's not that easy to take territory in uh, Trickons. In fact, it's actually very difficult. Um, pretty much only the small islands change hands, if they're, if then. I don't think I've ever seen the AI take it uh, off another AI. Well, the little destroyer is uh, playing hide-and-seek. There it is. <laughs> just can't... Just like... I wish there was like a ground fire option. <laughs> just shoot at that smoke cloud. Please. Oh, bloody cloaking devices. Again. What's the weather like? Oh, it's terrible. It's white. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess being British, I'm very aware of Trafalgar, but I suppose, um, I suppose it's not immediately obvious to everyone that it happened. I mean, <laughs> you've not seen the AI make peace with another AI, no. Oh, for, how many of these do you have? You just keep building more of them. I don't want to do that battle, just... Auto result, like Jesus. Yeah, I took damage, but fine, whatever. Um, right. Yeah, you're going to be back in Marseille, aren't you? 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to move. Oh, she's repairing. God damn it. How long for? A month. Okay, we can move her next month. It spat out another battleship as well. Just endless. I'm tired <laughs> of fighting these German ships. Just... Ugh. <laughs> I'm a bit of a history history buff as well. Nothing wrong with that. Come at me again. Yep, there they go. Destroyed the torpedo. Perfect. Good shot. Gone. Still going. <laughs> There's the next one. This is the cruiser. Goodbye, torpedo. <laughs> yeah. my will to fight. idea where the destroyer is. There is a remaining destroyer. Missing Legion? Yeah. They disappeared um, around my parts, actually, I think. I'm not too far from where the Battle of Mons Gropius was fought. Not that anyone actually knows where that battle was fought, but I'm in the general area <laughs> of, that, of where it is supposed to be. Yeah, this is the type of destroyer I was expecting. Which have just proven to be pretty much useless. Um, so yeah, the, that new DD design, wasn't expecting it. Uh, still though, still my fault. Because I didn't check the pre-battle screen to see if they had more types. Oh no, this is torpedo out. But the, the other one that kind of like... Rushed in and then sank. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. 
Do 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 do. Good. Right, what's well, the other battle? For goodness sake. Oh, this is another new one. The Heimdall. Interesting. What? <laughs> Did they run out of the good steel? 55% armor quality. <sighs> goodness gracious me. I mean... Sure, I'll try it. I mean, we did manage to burn down another German battleship, and that had actually good quality armor plate. Uh, not too much silent service. We've just been sinking German fleets as they pop up. They keep building more and more and more of them. Right, let's have a look at you. Yeah, it's different again. And this is presumably their latest design, but why the hell it has an armor quality of 55%? I have no idea. Destroy it? I think. Yeah, these 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 ones are different. They uh, didn't have three kilometer torpedoes before. Different torpedo boat design. And just a little bit tougher as well. There we go, surrendered. Good. It's gonna be a long slugfest. Look at that, look at that armor. What the shit? Maybe not. Maybe it won't take a long time. That is pathetic. That's less armor than the than the uh, Alg Algeria here, the Algeria. Yeah, it totally has a chance to pen. It's pathetic. I guess they were building them on the cheap, just to get a ship out. But good grief. Yeah, look, even the light cruisers can go through their armour. What's the propellant that they're using? Uh, ballastite. The amount of damage it's taking from a couple of light cruisers and a heavy. Insane. Well, you can build as many of those as you like, Germany. They're terrible. Fancy compared to brown powder. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Right, you want to try anything else, Germany? Got any other bright ideas? No. Good. Right. 
Um, ooh, explosives. What are we getting? Got like two. Hmm. What I want is two powder. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wonder what they are. Uh, nine active ships. Oh, I wonder what they are actually building. I'm assuming they're mostly building destroyers and torpedo boats and stuff like that. Right. Uh, Baltic. Uh, just a couple of ships will do fine. Yeah. Keep the blockade up. I uh, don't want them getting away with it. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I'm going to say thank you very much to those of you watching on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.